What's going on guys, Ryan with Jetta Patrol back with episode 4 of Six Scale News. That's right guys, Ryan back with another episode of Six Scale News. Super excited about this guys, got the book here, we're going to talk about this stuff. I've got some interesting things to talk about today, so let's get right to it. All right, guys, so here we go. So here's the interesting stuff for this past week. Now, I told you in the last episode, I think I told you in the last two episodes, that the Best Bin Leia was going to be sold out. It's going to be waitlisted, and you better jump on it. And it was interesting because literally the an hour after I released the last video, it went waitlist on Sideshow Collectibles. It's been sold out pretty much everywhere else. And went waitlisted, and then like, the next day or two days later, it popped back in stock. Not pre-order, in stock. And not only that, but it came in stock with free shipping. What the heck? No idea what's going on with that. I, Sacho, what, what are you doing over there? I don't know, but I was able to pick one of those up and I hope you were able to as well because I think that one's gonna be, I don't think you're gonna wanna miss that one. I foresee us getting a Bespin Luke at some point. And you know, they teased it at San Diego Comic-Con last year. Uh, I think we're gonna get a Bespin Han, maybe a Chewie. We really do need an updated Chewie. That would be pretty awesome. So if that happens, Bespin Leia is gonna go boom through the roof. So hopefully uh, we get that. I was able to pick that up. Uh, so whenever that comes in, we'll do a video on, on her. Uh, the regular Stormtrooper. That's right, the regular. So the Deluxe went on waitlist. The regular went on wait list, so that was pretty cool. Uh, saw that coming soon. And also we had a website crash. Website crash. So Sideshow on, I believe it was Friday or Thursday. It might have been, I was at work. So it's Friday, it's Friday I think. Um, I guess I should have wrote the date down, but I didn't. But whatever day, they sent an email out and they said, hey, we've got a bunch of last uh, last chance items, some stuff that was sold out. We're gonna put it in stock. We're gonna, you know, you, you can put it on the site. And uh, the site crashed and it crashed hard. So whatever out there is uh, their sideshow's proof that people are reading their emails, there's your evidence. There's enough people reading their emails, signed up for their newsletters, that it crashed the site when they decided to go in there and check it out. Um, finally, uh, four or five hours later, the site comes back up and it ends up being mostly stuff that nobody wanted. <laughs> there's, some, there's a few items in there, but there really wasn't any thing amazing but the fact the teaser because they had released the mark 46 uh, iron man the previous week star lord deluxe some other things some really good figures the week before got everybody hyped up and they literally crashed the sideshow site hard hard it was crazy so uh, that happened this past week hopefully they've got that figured out um yeah hope so all right so also crate luke darth maul and solo deluxe all of them went on wait list this past week so i hope you were able to pick one of those up uh, i did post on youtube and the community page i posted on instagram and the facebook groups about those uh, all of them have went on wait list so i hope you were able to get them if you really wanted those and new is actually shipping from sideshow this week or last week john wick that's pretty awesome. So I will probably be picking up that figure to check out. I do have the Neo somewhere back there on the wall. I've got the Hot Toys Neo from the Matrix. That is a super cool figure. Uh, and I really need to find time to do a video on that. That was pretty cool. If you'd like to see a video on Neo, let me know. Uh, but John Wick coming in, I think just based on my experience with the Neo figure, I think the John Wick sculpt is a better counter re-sculpt in my opinion. I love the weapons, I love the posability, the articulation, I love the Matrix, it's just the Matrix, but I think the John Wick sculpt is a better sculpt and better paint apps uh, for Keanu Reeves. So let me know your thoughts down below, that's just my initial thoughts. Once you put the glasses on Neo, it's pretty cool. Without the glasses, it's like a seven out of 10, six out of 10, something like that. Um, other than that, he's got a bunch of cool weapons and, uh, and a cool trench coat. So uh, that's pretty awesome. Uh, Hulkbuster is now shipping, so if you missed out on the first version of Hulkbuster way many years ago, the new version is shipping with the one with the accessory pack. This actually comes with two humongous boxes. I don't know what they're charging to ship that thing, but I imagine it's a lot. Uh, no inside show shipping. So if it charges 25 bucks for to get a uh, hot regular hot toy six scale figure from the west coast to the east coast, east coast I can't imagine what uh, the shipping is on the hot on the on the Hulkbuster. So let me know if you've had that happen. I'm curious uh, to know what the shipping is on that. And uh, also, 
just announced, actually they just uh, sent out emails on the 7th, I believe, of June that the Han Solo Mud Trooper from the Solo movie is arriving soon and will be shipping out, so final payments are being charged, all that kind of stuff. So, so if you pre-ordered the Mud Trooper through Sideshow, I'm sure you got an email. And hopefully they got some extras, because if you're on that wait list, uh, that would be a cool figure to be able to pick up. So hopefully they got some extras, or possibly some people who had already pre-ordered it uh, will change their mind, which they would be foolish if they did, but it happens. Uh, so you might you might be able to pick up one of those on wait list, hopefully. Hope so. Uh, this past week, the reason, I gotta tell you about this, guys. The reason I've got Optimus here. Now this is the 3.0 de uh, deluxe version, so I don't know what scale it is. It's a freaking transformer. It, it, what scale is it of Optimus Prime? I don't, I have no idea. But this figure, and I have Bumblebee as well, and I haven't done a video on either one of them, uh, but this figure is so amazing for the price point. It's 200 bucks, $199, you can get this guy. It is so good at its price point that I am highly, highly considering picking up the premium version. It's 19 inches. So this guy's like 11, 12 inches. Figure 19 inches up here for the deluxe, for, oh, sorry, the, the premium version of Optimus Prime. I'm seriously considering that one. That went up for pre-order this week. You can pre-order in the link down below, uh, down below with uh, Collector's Own. You can use my code PATROL and you can save some money if you want to do that. Let me know your thoughts on that. Are you going to be picking that up? Are you going to pre-order it? It's it's awful tempting, guys. I will tell you, the 3-0 Transformers are some of the best made, best designed, best painted, most enjoyable to pose and play with um, figures in all of my collection. All right, I've got a few pieces, you guys, you know, and between Prime and B, Man, they're awesome. I don't have um, Blitzwing yet, although I will probably be picking up him soon. But as well as 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 well or as good as these guys are made, I can only imagine that the the uh, premium scale at 19 inches would be just as impressive, and the paint apps and it's just ugh. so. Anyways, uh, if you're going to be pre-ordering that one, check out the link below from Collector's Home. Use my code Patrol, save some money. Uh, but more than that, let me know what your thoughts on that one. Should should I get the the larger one or sh or should I be good with this one? It's, it's freaking impressive. I, I, uh, I've said it uh, long uh, long ago that um, Bumblebee was the best figure of 2019 releases. The little eight inch 3-0 Bumblebee, by far my favorite release of 2019. As much as all the hot toys. Crazy, Bumblebee is amazing. Um, so <laughs> this one's a weird one. So uh, Star Ace launched a Lord Joker from Batman Ninja. Now I know nothing about Batman Ninja. I don't know anything about the Lord Joker, don't know anything about it, but it is crazy looking. And uh, if you want to pick that up, Collector Zone's got that. That went up for pre-order here. And then also on some interesting news on the Sideshow Coming Soon page. So if you follow that at all, then obviously they've got stuff on there that's been on for years and years and years, but there's some items that moved to the Sideshow Coming Soon page that weren't there before. One of being, uh, which we already knew about, they announced way back in, February, I guess, uh, which was a quarter scale child from the Mandalorian. I I don't know what to expect from that. I have no idea. I think the life size one is just fine. And we're getting a six scale one with the Prem, uh, with the deluxe Mandalorian, this, uh, the second batch with the Beskar armor. The quarter scale child, no idea. Are we going to get a quarter scale Mandalorian to go with it? That would be pretty sick. I mean, we did get a quarter scale Vader and we got a quarter scale Fett. So a quarter scale Mandalorian, would you be jumping on that? I would, that would be amazing. And I don't even care which version. It could be like the original armor one or the Beskar armor. I don't even care which one, but either one of those would be pretty cool. But also Bespin Luke moved over to the coming soon page. So I don't know how much weight to throw on this as far as, you know, will it happen, will it won't uh, not happen? But we got Bespin Leia. I'm just gonna cross my fingers. We got an ESB uh, Vader, which a second one with the, uh, the vintage box. Uh, I think I think there's good odds we're gonna get we're gonna get that uh, that Luke. So if you were wanting to pick up the DX07 Luke uh, from way back when the two pack with the battle damage body and head and the missing arm and all that kind of stuff, it's a cool piece. Uh, one just I almost picked one up this past week and went for six hundred and fifty dollars on Mercari. Uh, I did I decided not to do that. I'm gonna wait a little bit longer and hopefully we'll get an actual Bestman Luke uh, uh, from Hot Toys a new release maybe with a new sculpt new paint apps, that'd be kind of cool. So I'm gonna wait a little bit longer before jumping on that. I don't think the 
DX07 is going to go any really any higher than it's at right now. It's been hovering around that six to seven hundred dollar range for the past two years that I've been watching it. So I think that's where it's going to end up staying. All right, here's some pretty big news. Now we're not having San Diego Comic Con this year, but there's a website, Sugo Toys, S-U-G-O Toys, put up some items for pre-order, and I think they're a little early. They're a little early on the pre-order. These are pretty cool, so I'll put I'll put a photo up here. It is uh, Hot Toys Mark II, okay? Mark II, silver armor, unpainted, pre-hot rod paint, all that kind of stuff. Hot uh, Hot Toys Mark II quarter scale. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. I can imagine that being very impressive in person. That, I, I don't own a quarter scale Iron Man, but that would be pretty sick. That would be pretty sick. And they're also out of the left field, and I, I don't know how many versions of this, this armor we're gonna get, uh, but they're doing a Mark V Neon Tech. That's what's listed on this web, the website up for pre-order. I don't know, I don't know, but I can totally see those two being Toy Fair or SDCC exclusives, a quarter scale Mark II or a Hot Toys Mark V Neon Tech. Now, I think most people would rather just have the Mark V re-released and you know skip the Neon Tech stuff, but I can imagine it's gonna look pretty cool. I don't know, what are your thoughts on that? Would you pick up the Neon Tech Mark V? Are you collecting any of the Neon Tech ones? I think they look pretty cool. They're not for me, uh, but they might be for you and you might wanna pick that up. So as soon as the uh, it shows up, we'll talk more about that in a future episode. So we've talked about uh, higher price items selling over the past few weeks. There was an online sale this past Friday night uh, with a small shop, they decided to do a Facebook Live thing. And they were selling some items on there. I thought it'd be interesting to kind of go down some of the price list for these things. One of which were the Art Trooper 5s and Art Trooper Echo from Sideshow Collectibles way back in the day. The Echo, they sold for $1,000 which is about what I've seen it go on eBay. The Arc Trooper 5s went for $1,100 and they sold fast. There wasn't even any hesitation. So I think people already knew what about the prices were gonna be in that eBay range uh, and they were already ready to pull the trigger so they did that. Snow Speeder Luke, they wanted $650 for that. I believe they sold that. The Shore Trooper went for $800. A Shore Trooper, $800. Crazy, man. Crazy. I don't even know what to tell you. Uh, Commander Wolf, 850. I did buy some pit droids. I'm not gonna say, I think they're power of the force pit droids. I spent like $22. So I, I racked up some big, big funds there. <laughs> but uh, they did have a Death Trooper for 500, uh, Lights Out Anakin for 550, Dooku for 300, uh, Obi Wan Kenobi Deluxe, 425, Tarkin, the single pack Tarkin for 500 bucks. Who would have thought? That's crazy. And some other things. Uh, a new uh, New Hope Han and Chewie two pack, six fifty. General Grievous exclusive, seven hundred bucks. There's some other things in there. The two pack. If you're wondering, not the Arc Trooper fives and Echo, but the two pack um, phase two uh, is uh, six hundred bucks or phase one. Yeah, phase one uh, for six hundred bucks. So there's some interesting pricing going on there. Uh, I thought some of them were a bit high. You let me know your thoughts on on that. Some of these were good deals, like Dooku for 300 bucks. That's about what you would pay for it retail, plus shipping and sales tax on. That's not terrible. Um, but some of these were were pricey. They had the Sideshow Collectibles 1-6 scale Dewback. I really, really wanted to add that to the collection. Uh, I just wasn't willing to drop $1,200 on it. And it doesn't appear that anybody else was either, because at the end of the auction, uh, they, they, they still have it. So uh, I don't know if somebody's bought it between now and then, but at the end, uh, 1200 bucks was too high and they did keep it to the very end because they knew everybody wanted to do back so they played us and uh, they told us at the very end after a four hour live stream that it was $1,200 and honestly I think if it was in that seven to $800 range I probably would have pulled the trigger on that but 1200 bucks not doing it so uh, yeah so if you happen to have a do back out there uh, let me know so all right, before we get into Poser of the Week, we're gonna get into that. You guys have been doing some awesome photos, awesome poses on Instagram. If you didn't know, we're doing a contest each week uh, where you guys use the hashtag Poser of the Week. Find some 1-6 scale figures, pose them up, and we're gonna showcase them here on the, on the channel. But I think we gotta talk about today's release. We gotta talk about Ant-Man. Hot Toys dropped, I, I wanna say a bomb. I, I, it's more like a turd. <laughs> <laughs> they dropped a turd of a of a face sculpt on us. That's that's the opinion going around the six scale community. You guys are not happy with this, and um, I can't blame you. So this figure actually got announced in 2018. They had this face sculpt blurred out 
Okay, so we didn't have any clue what it looked like, but you could tell from the blurred image that it did not look anything like what they released today. Nothing. Now, I've seen a lot of face sculpts on a lot of different figures, Marvel, DC, whatever. This one right here might be, it might be the worst face sculpt Hot Toys has ever done with modern technology. It is freaking god awful. And I, what I've seen in the, on Reddit, I'm seeing the Facebook groups and Twitter and whatnot is people are canceling orders. People are just saying, nope, not gonna do it because of the face sculpt. If you like Ant-Man, I would still get it because of the, the helmet. I think you still do the helmet look. And I think the suit and the armor looks beautiful. The face sculpt, whew, man. So are people gonna be, it, it, the question I've got on here, we gotta watch the marketplace. And between now and the next episode of this, we'll look at this. Will the previous version of Ant-Man be going up in value or maybe just a head sculpt. Are we gonna see a lot of sculpts on the marketplace on eBay and Mercari, places like that, selling those? We're gonna see a lot of in search of post for that head sculpt. And are we gonna see a lot, I think we're gonna see a lot of these grinning, ridiculous, Paul. it's not Paul, it's not even Paul Rudd. Okay, it's not even Paul Rudd, it's just a ridiculous sculpt. Are we gonna see a lot of these on eBay for cheap? People dumping them, parting them out, I don't know. Um, there's no way I would display my figure with that head sculpt. I just wouldn't do it. It's it's freaky and scary, and it doesn't look anything like Paul Rudd. And why on earth did anybody approve that 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 sculpt? I, do, I don't know. Uh, what are your thoughts? Am I completely wrong? Am I nuts? Are you do you love it? Because based on everybody I've talked to, uh, the answer is no. They don't like it, and that's why I'm calling it Face Gate. It is ridiculous. Hot Toys for this. It is. They could have done so much better if all they did was take the previous sculpt and update the paint apps. It would have been way better than this garbage they gave us today. So thankfully, I don't have that on order and I don't plan on buying that figure. But if I was, I, there's no way I'd use that, the, that face sculpt. It's terrible. That, it's just absolutely god awful. All right, so what are your thoughts on that? Let me know, will you be picking that up? Did you cancel your order already? And uh, are you happy about it? So I'd love to hear from you in the comment section down below. Let's have a little conversation. So let's talk. The last part about this, let's talk about Poser of the Week, guys. You guys are freaking killing it out there. So I do have some notables that I want to go ahead and share with you. I'm probably going to butcher some names here. That's why I've got it here on the screen so you guys can just see yourself. But i got Steve O'Rin right here with Director Krennic. Really big fan of this one. Uh, the, I'm, now, we're not, I'm not critiquing photography. I'm looking at the pose, okay? So not photography. I'm looking at the pose. That's what I'm looking at. So don't give me any crazy about that. Uh, I love this walking pose by, uh, uh, by Steve O'Rin with Director Krennic. Really dig that. And I, I know how difficult that can be. He's got some really, I mean, it shows some motion in there. It's got the blaster going on. I think that one's pretty cool. So Steve O'Rin, great job. Spontaneous figure collector. This one was amazing. This was actually one of the first submissions I saw. But check this out. We've got Anakin, we got versus Kenobi. This thing is awesome. And anytime you can incorporate two figures in one pose, I'd like it. I'd like it. Or like it very much. So spontaneous figure collector. That is amazing, man. And I love the lighting setup as well with the uh the the uh stand in the background and the arm it just it looks good so right on man so one six empire evidently a lot of people actually like this one this superman pose with the batman in the background on point it's clearly in a detolf it's got the led lighting going on right there but the pose with the cape i don't know if that's a custom it probably is a custom i don't know if it is uh, but the batman in the background it, it's just it's iconic it's fantastic and that's how superman would look and then Batman's back there in the background just want, you know, waiting on him to stop showing off, I guess. Uh, but I really like that one. So 1-6 Empire, fantastic, fantastic pose. So going on to this one, uh, Junior Salinas 2020. Again, able to pull off two figures, one pose. Obviously, this is going to be from um, Infinity War, uh, where you know Star Lord and uh, Spider Man and you know all these guys are out there fighting on Titan. And uh, this is, or actually prior to Titan, this is. This is awesome. This is awesome. So I, I'm super excited about this one. I really, really like this one. Well done, Junior Salinas uh, 2020. Dig that one. So Loku Lu 526. Now this one's sideways, but it's Scarlet Spider. Scarlet Spider is my favorite Spider-Man figure to date. The material just lends it so much to posing. You don't have to worry about the suit being tore up. The colors are just, just absolutely beautiful. And to get this wall crawling pose, I think is sick. So uh, I really like that one as well. Uh, and then I've got Mecha Go Goglish. I have no idea how you say that. Uh, we got Punisher War Machine here. 
looking at the sculpt. I think this one I dig uh, because it just reminds me of, of what Punisher might be doing, just staring at that helmet and uh, the lighting's on point. I just think it's a great pose. This one is uh, Kiko Collects, and if I butchered that, I'm very sorry. I, I think this one just grabbed me because this number one's a beautiful photo. The, the lighting and everything is just is gorgeous, but it's just, I don't know. Something about this just, just I really liked. I liked, uh, I liked uh, Yondu grabbing on the collar. It just, the pose looking off to the side. I don't know what the rest of the body looked like because it's more of a portrait shot, but I thought it was fantastic. So that's all we got for the day, guys. Poser of the week. Now, I want to do something new for this week's challenge, okay? I want to use poser of the week, hashtag poser of the week, but this week I want to see poses that imply motion. So let's get some in there. Let's, let's imply some motion. Let's get running. Let's get jumping. Let's get flipping. Let's get, if you got wired capes, let's get the capes involved. Whatever it is, let's have some motion going on in this week's challenge. So stay tuned for that. That's going to be pretty amazing. I look forward to seeing all your guys' awesome poses. So make sure you put on their hashtag poser of the week so we can find them. And also all you other guys that are following that hashtag, get some posing ideas for your own collection because that's what it's about. Learning from other people. I don't care if you copy a pose. I don't care about that. That's how you learn, right? Practice. But um, I'm super excited how this is going, guys. Let me know about Ant-Man and Facegate. And uh, also, I have a pretty large... I got a pretty large uh, Hot Toy haul coming next week. So I don't know if it'll be ready by next episode. We'll see how it goes. But it's pretty large. So I'll tell you that. It's going to be pretty awesome. Guys, as always, click what you like. See you next time. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. I forgot to tell you. I forgot to tell you. Coming up very soon, as in episode five of Six Scale News, there will be a 1-6 giveaway announcement. That's right, guys. We're going to give away a 1-6 scale figure. It's going to be amazing. Can't wait to tell you all about it. So I know that about 50% of the viewers aren't subscribed because that's just a YouTube thing. This is what it is. So uh, subscribe so you get your notifications turned on. Hit the bell. All that kind of fun stuff. 1-6 scale giveaway coming up very soon. Tell your friends. Tell your neighbors. Tell your enemies. Tell your villains. And uh, yeah. See ya.